you realize what's more important to you when you don't have access to that every day. This has been life changing. It gave me more self-worth and a better perspective on life, period. Learning a lot, a lot of stuff that I didn't know before. It's coming natural to me now. Going through the whole learning curve and not really knowing, you know, how to work with the tools or what I was going to be doing every day now that I'm sort of getting comfortable with it. So if we go right over to here. Aha, I got you, okay. I didn't have opportunity before, you know, so now I have opportunity. I see the future in it and it's also helped me, you know, I've come a long way. A lot of people don't, um, don't accomplish what I've accomplished in the last few months that the, in their first year of being from behind the wall. In 2014, my wife had passed away suddenly after she had our baby and I turned into alcohol, you know, to help with my depression and everything. And I caught a few DUIs and that's what got me on a felony probation here in Hennepin County. I was in Jersey um, on the East Coast and I had my parole transferred here. We're talking about changing lives. We're creating a diverse, motivated, low risk, high reward possibility for these men and women that we're working with in our Pathways program. By using Hennepin County's purchasing power, we're able to uh, have our clients work with small businesses. Once they've completed one project, these businesses will hire our clients on full time. And that's what our Pathways program is all about. Not just providing a job, but a career. We see this as a win, win, win for everyone. So the Productive Day program started back in the mid 90s. We looked inside the institution for jobs that could be done for more than 10 or 15 minutes. And that moved on to seeking work in the community for private employers, guys would be taken off site. It was trying to get offenders back reintroduced to work. Um, they were in the workhouse as punishment, not for punishment, and they're gonna be coming out at some point. So part of their debt to society was to become productive afterward, and we just tried to underscore that. I see myself in the guys. I was given a second chance. Somebody believed in me. Someone gave me the skills to be productive, to a member of society. I love to get, give guys opportunity that we can breathe life into the program and get other people to buy into. This is a direct effort to couple the investments that we make in building with, with our commitment to this population coming out of the criminal justice system, this is really building in a solid jobs foundation for their re-entry into the community. It's a vast field out there of carpentry and contractors. Apprenticeship program, is it's a calculated process that the unions created to walk you through every course and facet of learning how to become a successful journeyman, a carpenter. And it also made me, you know, want to strive more harder towards construction because, you know, like I know the opportunities are out there. There's a spiritual, I'll call it, component to a job. It's about your, your sense of your own worth, self-worth, but it's also that you're a contributor to the community. That should not be underestimated. When we hear back from, from different of our clients that, uh, that this is really an opportunity, a game changer for them, something they had never uh, expected would happen. You know, that's rewarding. We should all take pride in that. There's endless opportunities, you know. Even if I don't want to do this, I know that, you know, whatever it is I go to, uh, you know, I know that I can wake up at five every morning and, and make it there and do good and learn and pick up skills if need be and do whatever it is I have to do to make it happen for myself. I'm very proud of myself. Every day I wake up and I get a chance to put these boots on and I get a chance to come and do some work, you know, I'm very proud of myself. Yep. And, and, I, and it builds me up just knowing that my kids are happy.